make sure I record this. Welcome everyone. For my wonderful entrepreneurs, this has been an interesting experience. Dr. Polly and I were going to do this a week ago and there were just a lot of glitches. And then today, in case you haven't tried uh, Facebook to Zoom yet, Facebook has changed their API and at some point soon may not allow the streaming into their platform other than direct. However, <laughs> we're persistent and today I figured out a workaround. So we're gonna, we're here and I'm really excited. So before I introduce Dr. Polly, who I think many of you already have the pleasure of knowing, I wanna tell you a couple of things. Heartrepreneur for the last several years has done Heartrepreneur of the Year. And the way it works, and you may remember this, is people get nominated and the closing date is around February the 12th and February the 14th, Valentine's Day. We pick Heartrepreneur of the Year. My committee, my team does, I can't be involved. And so we've had some very amazing people win. We've had some famous people win. And this year, we have more nominations than ever. We were flooded with nominations, which is wonderful. And one person, and only one person, got so many nominations beyond anything my team had ever seen before. So when I set it to send it to the committee with all of the nominations, they said, it's gonna take us more than two days, Terry. It's, there's a lot. I said, okay. So they got back to me a little bit late after the 14th. And then I found out that my own client family member, my friend, our own Dr. Polly, Entrepreneur of the Year. So I'm just asking everyone to celebrate with us. This is so exciting. I've never had a client family member win. And so I'm over the moon about this. And there's a lot of reasons why she was nominated. And I want you just to get a sense of who she is and what she does. So first, Dr. Polly, welcome. Huge hearty congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was it's overwhelming. Very exciting. You know, I mean, the august company that was in the competition that were nominated. So it was, it's just, you know, it's amazing. It's well-deserved, well-deserved. Love for you to share with people, like what does Heartrepreneur mean to you? And how do you show up and embody that in your words? Heartrepreneur is doing business that is authentic. It's doing business that is heartfelt, obviously. It's treating all of our client family members as the unique people that they are. It's not, you know, one size fits all with us. And we do a lot of client care. We do a lot of calling and checking and, you know, what's not quite yet, right yet. How do we move forward? What are you still having issues with? And how can we help further that? So just a lot of handholding, a lot of caring, a lot of reaching out. We hope we go far beyond what is uh, expected and have that little bit extra. So uh, we try. Well, I'm going to say that you succeed because it was primarily your own patients that were nominating you. Um, and so your patients have that impact and know that you're doing business in that way. I think it's the biggest honor any of us can get was when one of our client family members, one of our patients, whoever it might be, when they say, you've got to pay attention to this person, they're doing a great job. So that's a beautiful thing, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I, I had no idea that so many had recommended us. And, um, you know, I say it's very overwhelming and we're very grateful. Yeah. So as you do your business, first, let's tell people what is the business you do in case they haven't met you before and had that privilege. Yes, we have a holistic healthcare clinic here and uh, we do mainly bioenergetic medicine and um, it's, we have different, different type of modalities, but mainly it's bioenergetic. And so we just have on our testimonial page, we have a lot of people that have written in and, and our Google reviews are great because they get the results. And, and we believe they get the results because we, we go after the cause of the dysfunction and then supplement appropriately and things just turn around. And um, we, had a, we had a little girl, I wanna tell you this, it was uh, last week and she was, she was three the most beautiful, the most beautiful little girl. And she was sitting across the table while I was evaluating her and she had a, a hoodie on because it was kind of chilly. And she would, <coughs> <coughs> I mean, every few seconds, the poor child was coughing the entire appointment. Mom had taken her to the doctor. 
uh, the pediatrician and the pediatrician has said, it's just an upper respiratory infection. It'll run its course, no big deal. Didn't give her any medication. It was not COVID. So that was a good thing. And you know, but mom was distressed. And so this was our first interaction. And so we gave her some, some special things and the baby quit coughing. And the mom brought her son to see me two days later. And there was no cough whatsoever. And the mom said, I was absolutely blown away that within just a few hours, my baby was not coughing. I mean, this child was, I mean, the whole appointment just covering her face and coughing. And I felt so <laughs> sorry for her, but um, we, you know, we get good results, but that's even really good for me. <laughs> that is a phenomenal result. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for those kind of results. It makes such a difference, not only when you know what results you can get for your clients, but when you're really very much wanting to do that and empowered. And I have been working with you for quite a while now and with your team. It's very obvious to me that you're all about results. How can we help? How can we help? What can we do? And you go more than the extra mile. If, if any of you have not followed Dr. Polly on her page, and I'll have her put that info here later, she does amazing content related to Facebook Live. I mean, you will really learn from her. She gives education, she creates value. What are some of the, since our work together, what are some of the like tools and educational materials that you have for people that they can actually access? Well, we've developed some consumer awareness guides for uh, different conditions that people are dealing with. We have a Facebook group for people who are dealing with chronic illness. So we didn't have those before. We did have a Facebook business page, but we didn't, we didn't know how to do some of the things that you've taught us how to do. We're building some online classes now. So that's, I'm excited about that because I have wanted to do that for, well, since 2015 and just not able, just didn't have the tools to do it. There were just so many, uh, so many moving parts. And so that was one of my goals that I wanted to do with our work together. And so there were a lot, even though we have owned this business since 2010, there were a lot of foundational pieces that we just didn't have. And I mean, we, we did well, we've been very successful, but putting in that background, putting in that foundation that we just did not have has really just helped us. And our, our first quarter has just been amazing. The number, I mean, for several months, we've had at least one new patient every day, which is, we've just never had that before. And we've never had that in a first quarter. So very grateful for all that you've taught us. We've tried to, you know, put it all into practice as best we can. And, and I'll just tell you, we don't get it right the first time. We just don't, but we, we persevere and, and we do get it right. And uh, it shows when you, you know, when you, when you learn those strategic things that we were missing, it just helps our whole presentation be better. It helps our client family members find us easier. And so it, it really just helps everything run more smoothly. So, you know, thank, thank you for all that you've taught us this year. You're, you're a model student. I praise you all the time because some people are listeners and they go, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Terry has, oh, that sounds good. And they don't take action. And then I have other client family members that as soon as I say, here's what I want you to do, they implement. And it's not about implementing 100% correctly. It's about let's implement, we'll tweak it, we'll tweak it. And that's why you're being you know, clearly rewarded with the amount of patience and business and income that's happening. And it's, it's not me. And I always <laughs> tell my clients this, you're doing it, right? I'm, I'm telling you how to do it or what to do. I'm showing you what you might not know or might not see. The difference is you're implementing it versus just going, that's nice. Makes sense. Yeah, but that's and that is true. And I agree with that. But you have to have somebody that explains it to you in the bite sized pieces. And that's what I like about every week. We're able to have an action item and maybe it doesn't pertain to me and maybe I don't think it's going to work. And maybe it's like, oh, this doesn't even make sense. But we're very diligent to do it. And then maybe the next piece falls into place. Oh, well, we had to have this so we can have this. And this really makes sense. So I appreciate that because we've never had that before. We've done other mentoring programs and everybody sounds good. Uh, but then when it comes down to the implementing and, and, and you make sure that we get it right, even though, you know, and I'm a perfectionist, I'm a recovering perfectionist <laughs> because, you know, it's, 
I, I just put a lot of pressure on myself and, and want it to be right. And, and it's one thing if you see me do it wrong, but in our forum, everybody gets to see me do it wrong, right? It's like, oh, well, whatever. I get to see them do it wrong too. Exactly, so. <laughs> exactly. But you know, I think that, that way. Yeah, that's the beauty of it is, is people are learning together. Everybody's learning, everybody's growing and we're not looking for perfection. And I wanna really say that to every heart entrepreneur here. It's not about perfection. It's about just do it. Um, my very first book, oh my gosh, it's 20 something years ago, Work Yourself Happy. If I were to rewrite that book, I would rewrite the whole book and I, the cover would, everything would be different. At the time, the information was very important and I felt that it was important in the world. I would do seminars and hundreds of people would come like, people need this. So we just pushed the book out. Is it perfect? No. Could it be a million times better? Yes. But the truth is if we keep perfecting you, me, or any of us, then we don't get to help people. So I've, I've say this very frequently, get her done, just get her done and then we'll make it better. And I love that you jump in and do that. What would you say to someone who is doing business more the traditional way? They're overcoming objections and trying to close sales and doing more, you know, sort of in your face marketing and they're not having heart to heart conversations. What would you say to them? I would just say that people, life is hard. The world is rough right now. And so if you show compassion and if you really empathize with that person, try and put yourself in that person's shoes, you're probably going to sell more. You're going to close more because that person feels a connection with you. And, you know, the whole world has changed in the last, I don't know, two decades for sure. But in the last year, for sure, for sure. And people are tired and people are wounded and people are they just want something to work because so many things are not working. And so if you, if you empathize with them, if you have that personal connection, which certainly in our business healthcare, you know, we were always told don't get, don't get touchy, don't get, in, you know, involved, don't get in, entwined with them. And really, if you're not feeling what your person is feeling, you're not, they're not going to think that you're listening. And if they don't think that you're listening, they're not going to trust you. And if they don't trust you, they're not going to do what you say. And if they don't do what you say, they're not going to get well. So it's all about that human touch and that, that customer service is absolutely uh, powerful. We did a, we had a, a, last night for dinner, I was tired. We'd had a big weekend. And so we ordered in the food was horrible. And we called and the manager just said, oh, well, just forget it. You know, we'll just, we'll just cancel your credit card. That's not what I wanted. Right. Right. We had waited two hours for this meal. Oh my gosh. And when it arrived, it was cold, it was inedible. And, you know, it was just a bad, hmm. and things happen, but the manager was like, oh, well, tough. I'll just, I'll just shred your credit card. And it's like, yeah, so I'm probably not gonna, I'm not probably not gonna order from you anymore. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. When no we're heart. Do business. We have that. You said the word I was going to say, you have to have heart. And I think nowadays we really have to even be more caring, whether people are understanding this or not understanding this, we all have some emotional baggage um, because we're not used to being shut in for any period of time. We're not used to not hugging and having a lot of human contact. Right. So Sometimes unconsciously, this is all going on and we're going out in the world acting as if everything is fine. And then it shows up, I'm sure in healthcare, it shows up in a lot of different ways. What are some of the things that you've seen? Oh, I've seen tremendous fear. Just people are afraid to come in. They're afraid to get close. Not, not that we get all that close, but right. you know, human beings need, I think it's 10 hugs a day to be emotionally healthy. And so you're right, people are not hugging, people are not touching. And so people are missing that. They're missing that emotional connection because health is physical health, mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health. And so if we're, if we're missing any of those connections, I have a lady who she's an older lady, she's a widow. Her children live out of state. Her church is shut down. All she hears from her kids are, order in, order in, have everything delivered, don't go out. And so she has no human contact unless she goes to the doctor, mm -hmm. right? 
or unless she takes a short walk down the street and she'll wave to a neighbor across the street, but there's no human contact. And so that breeds um, depression and anxiety and fear and all of those things weaken your immune system. Uh, I heard today of a man and his son, his son is a special needs uh, child. He's in his forties, I think. Child never goes out because he just can't cope with the outside world. Not quite sure what his dysfunction is, but, but he's homebound. They're very, very careful. The, the, the young man came down with COVID-19. Nobody knows how because he, he is not exposed. He doesn't go out. We don't know how. And so, you know, what is the right thing to do? Staying in, you get COVID. Going out, you get COVID. So what's the right thing to do? Uh, but human contact is, is really, really important. And that, that human face-to-face -face interaction. I mean, Texas is open now. So we're all excited about that. People are out in the restaurants, they're in the bars, they're doing, they're doing their social thing. Yep. And so that's really important. They're having picnics. Of course, it's what's well, supposed to be warm here. It's a little bit chillier than normal, but you know, people are out and about and taking walks and that kind of thing. So, you know, we're better than some places in the country as far as reuniting with the human family, but I think that's really, really important. So as a business person, if you can connect as a, at the human level, not just the business level, but if you can say that nice thing, do a compliment, uh, you know, be sure that they understand that you're really listening, that's going to go a long way toward their own mental health. And you'll feel good too, because you've had that interaction. Mm, oh, that's such a beautiful tip. Thank you for that. I think the more that we can all do in terms of just plugging in and caring about other people and maybe being a little more patient than usual, maybe a little more loving, a little more kind, because we don't know what anyone else is going through and how anyone's dealing with this. You know, we've, we have had some very interesting family interactions and different opinions, like um, don't come to my house for my uh, great niece's um, it's very interesting for her graduation. If you're going to wear a mask, you can't come. It's like, okay, it seems to me like that could be a choice and not a directive. There's some very strong opinions. And yes. then there's don't go visit this one, go visit that one. And then there's people who are ill in my family. I mean, extremely ill who have all of a sudden decided I'm going to go see people because I may not be here that much longer. So I make no judgment. I say we all have to make our own decisions. Same about get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated, when to get vaccinated. And I just really put out for our whole group here that we just try to understand and come from a place of understanding and respect each other's opinions. We do absolutely. Not yeah, we do not. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with that. You know, just people need to respect my choice people need to i need to respect everybody else's choice because it is a choice and people are just so bombarded with so much information and uh that's one of the things i try and do on our facebook lives is yeah. separate the sense from the nonsense because you know if, if you're going to follow the science then actually follow the science and so you know it's people are just afraid they don't know what to believe too many different things are going on out there and you know, it's, it's a difficult time. It's really difficult. It is. And and I was going to just mention again, your Facebook lives. I've tuned into a number of them and it is really great because you are taking the nonsense away. And there's, there's really, I found it very helpful. There's a lot of clarity. You give a lot of tips, a lot of tools, tremendous value. So I'm going to recommend that everyone follow Dr. Holly and watch some of your lives. And then you also connect with her, um, she'll drop in links. You can get her consumer awareness guide. She is all about creating value. And that's really everyone that's ever been nominated for Heart Entrepreneur of the Year. Every single nomination, you have to explain why you're nominating someone. And it's always about the value they bring and the connection and how much they give. I find that everyone who's been nominated, and as I said, this year was over the top with nominations. It was something very heartfelt. Whoever nominated them, that person made an impression on their heart. And those impressions are long lasting. When people come to me and they say, I want more clients, I want more patients, I want more customers. I basically say, go have more heart to heart conversations. And they're like, right. well, I thought I had you Facebook ads. 
seriously just have more heart to heart conversations, which is what you guys have been doing such a beautiful job of just creating value, value, value. So what do you want to say to the group? I don't know. We have like 5,600 people here. Um, what do you want to tell them? And it could be anything, any words of wisdom, any guidance. It's, it's your playing ground right now. Oh, wow. That's a big order. Um, <laughs> I think that everybody is unique. And the way I run my business, the way I deal with my patient family members is going to be totally different than any other naturopath out there. And that doesn't mean I'm doing it right and they're doing it wrong. That means that I'm operating out of my skill set, whatever that is. And I am operating out of my heart and my personality. And that's the best practitioner that I can be. So whatever you do, whether you're a coach or a naturopath or a salesman or a banker, or lawyer, whatever, if you know who you are at your core and you operate with your skill set with heart, then you're going to be very successful because no one can do what you're called to do as well as you can if you let let your light shine, right? Mm -hmm. And be who you're supposed to be. If I tried to practice like my neighbor, whoever my neighbor would be, and she probably has a great practice, but if I tried to practice the way she does, I would not be very successful at it because I am not that person. So the authenticity of who you are, knowing who you are is important. And then operating out of that authenticity lets people trust you. And when people trust you, they want to do business with you and they will refer their family and their friends because they had such a good experience. Exactly. What you just said in this last minute or two was just such profound words of wisdom. And it's very clear they have the right person for her entrepreneurs. <laughs> totally clear. Um, and so what we will do is we will both drop back in the group. Um, we haven't been able to look at your comments because we're also on Zoom. We'll drop back in the group. We'll definitely respond to each and every one of you. Dr. Polly will drop in some links. And I just really say to all of you, you know, give her a round of applause. She definitely deserves it. She's doing business in such a heartful way. She is making such a big difference using her heart, when I call it a heartful way, um, and really making an impact for people on their health and wellness journey, and then sharing her wisdom with all of us here. So Dr. Polly, my friend, entrepreneur of the year, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your gifts. And I celebrate you once again. Thank you, Terry. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.